hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. Uh, I'm in Office One, the Oyster Rooms, uh, Weatherspoons uh, pub, uh, up above uh, Fulham Broadway, Underground Station. Been a bit poorly for a little while now, and I've been very busy. Uh, en route to France, three weeks away now, and I've got a bit behind, so I'm just going to uh, get on with it and get them uploaded today. Uh, the first one, my first poem is uh, Observing Terror. <coughs> I haven't even read this through. Almost too difficult to observe, often censored, terror is instantaneously torturous. The worst, sickening fear you can imagine. It is a spontaneous reaction to the threat of imminent death innate senses will determine and trigger a fight or flee response more often than not the latter. It wastes no time on deceptively creeping, presents full on like a sledgehammer, gains its advantage with shock tactics with numbers not necessarily required for it feeds quickly on fear and in its very nature it is the catalyst with which to fear which with which fear will multiply. At its most frightening, when witnessed in a child, for terror has a grip like a vice, it sticks like a limpet, spreads like a viral pandemic, and he who holds the key to the virus has the ability to control the world, unless, that is, an antidote can be found. It is a form of parasite living in its host, will bring fear to the very core of its victim, and it takes no more than a second to reduce a grown man to a trembling, cowering wreck. It is a big stick in the hand of a menacing master. With a single momentary trauma, it can leave its gruesome mark, its victims left with lifelong afflictions, carved deeply into the depths of their minds, and it has a look that can never be mistaken, worn like a mask on the face of those victims, like horror has been paused mid-frame, frozen fast, eyes open, pleading, like a dead person in a lake, face up, screaming under the ice. Like a scar left from a heavy branding, its memory too deep to remove, its very presence threat enough to see the meek and weak run, but well before them, those previously full of bellicose bravado will be first to turn their backs and jump like rats deserting a burning ship. Only the most stoic and very bravest will turn to make a stand, and even though terror is all-powerful, it too can be made to turn and flee with a show of courage, eye to eye, face to face, up and close and then you'll see it run, because all bullies are cowards, by which I infer, when faced with terror, terror itself is easily terrified. Joey John McGuire.